times since Shepard's visit to Victory Lane. Doyle Ford with the white flag in hand, and he waves it over to Sitko Ford of the Wood Brothers. I think they got the Energizer Bunny in that car. It is still going and still going. 105 miles on one tank of fuel. He has the lead to coast home from here. Yep. In turn four to the front straightaway. The winner of one of the biggest cliffhangers we've had in a long time, Morgan Shepard wins it for the Wood Brothers. Oh, man, the Sitco crew just performed like I don't know what today. Thank God for Atlanta. That was 1993, 20 years ago when a spry 51-year-old Morgan Shepard won the fourth and final Sprint Cup race of his career, becoming the second oldest winner in series history. Ricky Craven hadn't even made his debut. Now Ricky and 71-year-old Mr. Shepard are being given a chance to speak. Ricky, take it away. Oh, a real treat for me and uh, an opportunity to have raced with this young man. Good morning, Morgan Shepard. How are you this morning? Good morning, Ricky Craven, and I can't uh, believe that I'm talking with the guy that had the most exciting race <laughs> that has ever been at Darlington, South Carolina. That was one heck of a race. Morgan, you know that you know that track is tough, but speaking of tough, they don't come any tougher than you. Now, I sat in the grandstands in Maine as a kid watching you race. I had a uh, what I consider a lengthy career in stock car racing, racing with you, and now I'm six or seven years retired and you're still racing how do you do it well i love it and god's blessed me with my health so uh you know a lot of race fans they'll ask me when are you going to retire morgan you're asking the wrong person i'm here as long as the lord wants me as long as nascar will put up with me and uh i'm just uh here to, trying to encourage people to do something with their life morgan all the years behind the wheel of a race car and uh, I remember a lot of them. What were the glory days? Can you share some of your favorite memories with us? Well, <laughs> hey, I can go back to, by, by, the, uh, by the way, I started in 67. And I think 69, I won 21 out of 29 races. And just tell the race fans a little bit how it's changed. Buy a set of tires for $100. I won 21 races. I had the left front tire on the car all year, changed the left side once, changed the right side twice, and now you buy a set of tires and you might get 10 laps out of them. Oh, and if we they could cost bring back uh, the old days. 2000. Yeah, it cost $2000. Congratulations on being part of the field today, Morgan. What's your objective? What's your goal for today? Well, to uh, uh, finish uh, stay out of, you know, the way of the other guys cuz I know our car is not turning well, uh, got a great engine, triad engine and thing, it'll haul it down the straightaway, but uh, uh, we did no, no testing or anything, just come here and got in it, and it wasn't fair to the guys that's working on it uh, to expect them to get it uh, going well right off, but uh, I'm just uh, proud to be here, proud to, uh, uh, got some great car owners, Kelly Owens and uh, Archie uh, from up here at uh, Maine, uh, uh, there's quite a few people involved in this car and got some uh, sponsors on there that uh, uh, military.org, you know, if it wasn't for a military, you or I, neither one would be here uh, for this, to be in this free country. Yeah, you're exactly right. Morgan, good luck. Thank you for being with us and be safe today. Thank you, sir. Thank you all for having me.